Sinapan, the traditional Isnag method of smoking native pig for preservation. Meanwhile, the parts unsuitable for smoking are cooked in bamboo. Why doesn't want to come out? It was luck. Oh no! <laughs> From here in Kalayan Island, I'm going to travel to Paco Valley, part of Cabo Gao. The contrast is huge. Kalayan, after all, is known for its seafood. I was gonna say, I think that's our boat to leave, but I hope it's not our boat. It's going early. No, that's not the boat. We're going to a different port. I got worried for a minute. Thankfully, the boat we came in on was in port. Most important thing here. Empty beers out, full in, and some Dos Bocantos too. We're about to go back, jump on this boat again, and maybe it's five or six hours going back over to Claveria. Let's see how it goes because we're lighter loaded this time. Apaya, travel and toast! <laughs> Today, we're not using the modern balsa. <laughs> I don't want to go on that anymore. <laughs> Unless you don't want to get your boots wet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> not boots. Oh, 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 oh. Bye bye. I spent most of the six hours on the boat trying to sleep to not be dizzy for the motorbike rides over to Paco Valley. Yeah, we're not escaping the balsa today. Jerry should pay you for all the ads. Yes, only ads. Always only ads. This is not the way I thought this would finish, but uh, we're on dry land again, and I no longer feel seasick. Goodbye, Claveria. Goodbye, Cagayan Province, in fact. Oh, hello, fish, fish cages. I had to backtrack because we had to catch the weather at the right time. Sometimes, and just being my luck, it was the first storm of the year, just as I wanted to cross the Kalayan, so it got cancelled. So I've done a bit of Apayao, then come back. There's even bad weather in Apayao right now, the rains have come, but we're going to work with that actually. I move deeper into the valley. All it means is we have to get up earlier, finish earlier. One thing I really notice at the bottom of the valleys, you have your corn or your rice, the flatlands, the products, then very, very close to the road you have the forest. Really special. And here at the bottom of the valley, the history and the communities really start to unveil themselves. We're in Matagisi and what we're looking for are the ruins of an old Spanish church. The Spanish didn't do very well. They established it in the 1600s. By 1815, they couldn't take the fighting anymore with the Isnags, so they gave up. Stones from the Apayao River were used to establish the first Christian settlement of Apayao. The ruins have stood the test of time, and they now stand as a reminder of how strong the indigenous culture remains. Is this also Spanish? This one? Oh. Yeah. Now they, not, they are trying for yeah, Sunday Mass. Mm. So inside the ruins... It's not ruined. <laughs> making wine. So there's natural so communion wine. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Above Punto, the landscape really starts to change. Because of that resistance, the culture here has really stayed very, very intact. And now we're moving really into the Apayao heartland, the Iznag heartland. I had to practice how to say this many, many times. The Bubulayan Bridge is really appropriately located between Lower and Upper Apayao. It really is the boundary. The difference, Lower 
and upper is so stark. The lower Appayau River is wide, cornfields, rice fields around it, the river's wide, the floodplain's wide. Whereas on this side of the bridge, going to Upper Apayao, it's a narrow gorge, forested. Tricycles are useful, they're ploughs. Wow, <laughs> that really was a tricycle plough. He's ploughing the corn with a tricycle. I've never ever seen that before, ever. That's cool. This is a really common method, I think. <laughs> That's newly started. On the boundary, there's still some cornfields. But as we climb, we truly are entering the forest. Look at that. Man, we're coming down into somewhere special, that's for sure. That's really for sure. Today, this place is absolutely a paradise, but it wasn't always that way. During the 80s, this was the stronghold of the New People's Army. Uh, that was the time uh, the NPA also burnt our municipal hall, 1994. And we used to visit this place and we, n we never saw the, the New People's Army training here, but this was uh, according to our parents, this was the training ground. Then if they graduate from this place, they will go to Marag Valley to serve their government, their revolutionary government. That, that was the story of this place. And now we developed this place to become uh, habitable. And we have a lot of tourist potentials. Our story begins in the forested mountains that aside from some Kaingin, are mostly intact. For years, the Isnag have hunted wild pigs here. Without refrigeration, they had to find a way to preserve the meat until the next catch. And so they created Sinapan, or smoking. There's a limit to what I can show on YouTube, so, and I think people don't want to watch that bit. So the pig was slaughtered, they drained the blood, he's dead, and now the smoking begins. The first step is to flame grill the whole pig, which is a heavy task. And then they also scrape away the top layer of skin. So this is traditional? Yes sir. Uh, instead of our bun, uh, scalding it with hot water. They prefer to burn it so that the, the taste of the meat will, will, will be better, right? It will be better. Yeah. Mm. It's 90 kilos, they keep having to turn it just to smoke it evenly. And it's almost done. Then the long process of butchering the pig <laughs> begins. Uh, before, they eat it raw. The wild pigs, so they just carcass it and they just eat it raw. Wow. Without any, anything, like so. And we're also going to select some meat to eat now. The reason why they put this uh, piece of meat here is uh, as an offering for the goddess. So they believe that uh, once they butcher any kind of animals, the goddess will be the first to, to, to get it. This guy's preparing the largest barbecue sticks in the Philippines. Normally 10 or 20 pesos each. This one, <laughs> the 1,000 peso barbecue sticks, one kilo. Mm. So what's this type of wood called? It's called uh, bunga. So it's slowly roast, uh, roasting. Good. Here is it for our lunch. <laughs> So for the intestines, they're not smoked. There's another process. This is very special maybe because they get all those lean meat, tenderloin and uh, liver and some fats to prepare this uh, vegetable dish. So while the belly is being flame grilled, the vegetables are also being prepared to mix with the off cuts. No knife required. First you put the livers and the others, we, the young. <laughs> this is the liver and the heart of the pig. We will make it nurser. And then we'll put some... Uh, spices. Chili. Spices <laughs> like the chili. Put salt so that the chili will easily be grind. When you sur 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 it, Ah, that's what sir sir means. Ah. Like this. 
with the chili. chili. Oh, I smell it. <laughs> Smells delicious. Wow. Then we have to seal the bamboo. Ready for cooking. So this is a different version of the Sinner Sur, this time with the beans. So there's several ways to cook this, but it's all inside the bamboo and it all involves grinding. So this is with the fats. Yes. And some liver in it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some chili. Don't touch myself after this. How many? I'm dropping chilies everywhere. This is okay. And then some salt. How much salt? Just like this. That's enough. And then I pound it with this end of the stick. Okay. Yes, that's it. Wrist movements is everything. What is this one exactly? It's, it's sur sur as well, but the, they use the taro leaves. As well as the sinur, sir, there's also something called pinalatan, which is the intestines. And I have an ice cream of kamoti, because I'm a kamoti rider. Oh, the army's laughing at me. <laughs> and this was also my... How do you feel? This is for you. That's I'm excited. <laughs> excited to eat. <laughs> a pork medium rare. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Only medium rare. Well done. Oh, <laughs> 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 ah, so this one's going back. <laughs> With some more no, salt. Oh, no. Right in going. So you can eat this medium rare? Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Mm, not that. We taste with the army. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 that's tofu. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's tofu. Let's give this a go. Ah, oh, 10 peso, yeah, the Lugi barbecue. <laughs> Lugi barbecue for 10 pesos. <laughs> Juicy. Lugi barbecue part two. Let's make it even more Lugi. <laughs> 10 pesos per serve. Your food is here. It looks delicious. Yeah. I like heart. <laughs> Especially huh? when it's pumping. <laughs> Very romantic. Nice, mm, The most important ritual. Very traditional. So the mix is calamansi and salt. No? Salt bay apaya version. <laughs> That salt was from Kalayan. <laughs> and now it's ready. Have a taste it. Mm. It's fiery. It's a bit smoky. And the calamansi and the salt really gets rid of that bad aftertaste of pork. Lugi barbecue. Because the army took it all. <laughs> so the pinaratan is a much longer process. We've already started boiling it here. And there's more to come. sake. So the sinur sir needs to be sir sirred again. That's what's happening now. This is cooked to a certain level. Now the pinalatan is almost ready, so we're gonna slice the pomelo leaves. Ah oh, yeah, so everything has chili. If you're not hot, you are not the love. If you're hot, so <laughs> <laughs> then we prepare the serving vessels. Ah, artistic! The pinalatan's almost done, but someone's missing in action. Oui. <laughs> Found! I thought you'd been taken by the wak wak. You're gonna come back as a white lady. I oh. heard my snore! <laughs> Now, it's almost time to serve lunch. For all the vegetarians, how do you feel about coming along to a, a day of cooking a whole pig? I feel indifferent. <laughs> First up is the sinner sir. This, this one is with the, with the string beans. Oh, oh, it's slowly but surely. Gabi sa a sa a Why doesn't want to come out? It was luck. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, oh, my oh, God. oh, 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 look at the color of that soup there. It's What's in that? It's, it's all fat, actually. <laughs> that is from, from the fat. 
here's all the dishes. I had a video of me putting them all on, but my camera is dying very, very slowly on this trip. And so it's all here. This is the simple Sinosura. It's almost like a seasick. It's spicy. It's a good kind of spice. It's the spice that doesn't burn you. It just adds that little kick, which is perfect. Really, really perfect. Actually, it's very creamy as well, of course, with the liver involved. Pork. It's native. <laughs> it's fresh. It's just been cooked perfectly. It's so tender. Really, really, really tender. And I'm intrigued by this taro too. Wow. That's super creamy and the flavor just, it's not raw. It's perfectly, perfectly cooked. And okay, this is the most interesting of all, the pinaratan, because I've never tried this before. It's intestine and fat with the pomelo leaves and the chili. So I'm just very interested in this. Hmm. I mean, it's hard to pick out the flavor in particular, but that's because the cooking process has really taken out all the impurities or the imperfections. And it just, it tastes fresh. It tastes whole. You get the real good flavor without any of the rawness, the bitterness, any of that. It's just pure. That's what the cooking process seems to do. It seems to just perfect the natural flavors. Here we are, and later on, we're gonna smoke it to a samok. Oh, no. <laughs> very, very samok in the background. Ah, being so, so. This is a meal to share amongst the many who butchered the pig and all of the visitors. And that afternoon, we took a trip to Gololon Falls to really take in the nature and serenity of the Paco Valley. He was saying you can eat these bananas, but they have lots of seeds in, so it's more for vinegar, really. That's the Datot Bridge. The Datot Bridge. <laughs> the real Datot Bridge. Oi. This is a real 15 minute hike, or maybe 25, through thick virgin forest. The falls flow year round. Walking in the shadow, Gololon Falls. This is where we are, in the middle of the forest in really a natural paradise. Just so much of Apayao is still forest, save for what's been the product of Kaingin. Big trees, amazing, really, really amazing. And I just realized we've gone down. We've got to go back up again and we still haven't smoked the pig. While we were hiking, the smoking process had begun. So just a very simple setup, huh? Yeah, yeah. I put on the fire. Let the smoke go into the meat, then that's it. For almost two days or three days, then you can harvest it. Harvest. Yeah, harvest. Banana leaves are here. It's a natural way to keep the smoke in. Also, banana leaves, like the bamboo earlier, hold moisture. It's going to be delicious. But we've got to wait for 48 hours. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I am beside the road, leaning against my motorbike, almost falling asleep because I'm so tired. But I have a delivery. Food oh, grab delivery, oh, oh. here's your pakkal. <laughs> Food grab. <laughs> How do you feel right now? We should be good. <laughs> I've seen a lot of meat being eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's smoky. Tender, so tender, it's melting your mouth. It really falls apart and the smoky, the smokiness is perfect. That's really, really good. I'd happily survive on this for a few months until I go out hunting and dispose of the next pig again. I'm not a fat person. No, I am a fat person. I'm not a fat person. I'm not a fat person. Fats, oh, fats fat. person. However, this is really like it's it's like gelato. I think I think this is where gelatin comes from. <laughs> it's really, really just the texture is perfect. None of the bad after the tastes. None of the bad after tastes at all. From here at the side of the road, somewhere in Apayao. See you next time. Uh, there's a challenge here. You need to chop, chop woods for the sinapan. That's it. Do you think that that's a good not? idea? Do you think that's a good idea? Oh, that was not. I think that's a really bad idea, but let's do it. Oh. Yay. <laughs> challenge. Challenge. challenge, challenge. First, you have to.
Oi. Yay. Okay. okay. It's your turn. Let's see. I don't know if I trust myself with this. Oh, you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust myself with an axe. <laughs> 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 Oh no, that's not the proper way. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna leave this to the professionals. Go, for, go oh. behind it. That's what happens when you have no fear of cutting your feet off. Ah, okay. Maybe you can do that oh. this way. Ooh, la la! That's so simple. That's, that's the technique. Oh! That, that, that is uh, easier. Oh. Ah! Yeah. You see, I just, oh, got, cool I just got the wrong part. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, 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 really, yeah, really. Do it again. Be careful with your foot. Yeah, oh, I need oh. steel toe cap boots. <laughs> that, that is small one, that one. Is. This one? Yeah. And do it at an upright position. Okay. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah. Well, and uh, you're cutting them in, in the middle. Be Go. Be no, no, that, that way, oh. that way. Oh, <laughs> no. I have no technique. <laughs> you have to put force. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not built to be a lumberjack. Yes! yes! <laughs> yes! yes! Okay. okay, muscle, done my work. Paid my Pamasahi. <laughs>